Hi guys and welcome to the 16th episode of the Streaks and Strokes Fun on Fabric Painting class. In this episode, I'll be showing you how you can paint a cheerful alpaca onto your tote bags. So if you're ready, let's get started. To start, place a piece of carbon paper followed by the printed design onto the side of the item you want to paint on. Make sure you have a pencil to trace the drawing onto your tote bag or t-shirt. You can place some tape on the sides to prevent the papers from shifting while tracing. While tracing, avoid resting your hands on the carbon paper too much as this might create smudges on the item which will be hard to wash off. Remember to not fully remove the papers until you have made sure that the whole drawing has been traced. Once you're done with the tracing, you can remove the carbon paper and printed drawing. If the outline isn't clear, you still can draw over the outlines with a pencil so that it can be seen when you're painting later. When you're ready to start painting, place the envelope or a piece of paper in between the shirt or tote bag so that the paint doesn't go through. For this painting, we'll use the following colours. Ruby Red, Lemon Yellow, Jade Green, Honey Beige, Chocolate Brown, Ivory White and Charcoal Black. We will only need to mix two extra colours. We'll mix lemon yellow and ivory white to get a pale pastel yellow and ruby red and lemon yellow to get a light orange. These paints can be purchased from our online store from the website link below. Now we can start painting. Remember to use a smaller brush for details and the bigger one to cover larger parts of the painting. Spread as much paint as you can and try not to leave excess paint blobs on the painting itself. Notice that initially we had painted the alpaca with a normal yellow along with a shade of light orange. I wasn't satisfied with this, that's why I decided to wait for it to dry before I started painting again. Then, I mixed the white and yellow to get a very pale yellow colour and then painted over the colours that I wanted to change. If you need to do this, we recommend only doing it a maximum of two times. This is because if there's too many layers of paint, it won't be able to dry easily and might not be permanent on your tote bag. After the main body, we moved on to painting honey beige for the legs. Next, we moved on to using chocolate brown for the outlines. Unfortunately, as you can see, we accidentally dropped some chocolate brown on the tote bag itself. This might happen sometimes when you try to transfer paint onto your palette over the tote bag, so be careful. After painting the outline, 
we will plan on how to cover that up. Normally, when covering a mistake on your tote bag, I would suggest trying to paint something nice on it rather than try to get the colour of the tote bag and patching it up. This is because even if you manage to get the colour of the tote bag, patching it up will still show a patch covering that area. For this mistake, we'll be painting a patch of grass behind the alpaca. First, I recommend using a pencil to draw out what you want to paint. After that, you paint the outline over to see if the shape fits the whole painting. And finally, once the mistake and the outline is dry, paint the inside to cover it up. Now that I've covered up the mistake, I'll finally paint some rosy cheeks for the alpaca and then do some touch up to the details before I'm done with this painting. And now your painting is finished. Use a hair dryer to blow dry your painting or you can leave your painting to dry until there is no more wet paint on the painting before bringing it to be ironed. If you're interested in getting all the quality materials used in our videos, such as fabric paint, brushes, or even the tote bags and t-shirts we use, I would recommend purchasing them under our fabric paints and kits section on our website link below. Iron your t-shirt or tote bag for roughly 10 seconds to fully dry the paint on it. After that, you can use it, but only wash your item at least 4 days after ironing it. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any feedback or questions, do let us know in our Facebook group or Instagram. Also, if this video has managed to help you in any way, do share it with your loved ones so we can continue providing you content like this regularly. See you in our next painting class.